understanding the health issues of poor nutrition. Poor nutrition is a diet that lacks essential nutrients and does not provide the necessary nutrients that the body needs to function properly. It is also characterized by a high intake of processed foods, fast foods, and foods that are high in calories but low in nutrients. It is a major sub-healthy situation that people are facing today as at least 2 billion people globally are estimated to have a micronutrient deficiency. Types of Poor Nutrition Poor nutrition can include a diet that is deficient in vitamins, minerals, and other essential nutrients. It can also include a diet that contains excessive amounts of unhealthy components, such as sugar, saturated fats, and sodium. Poor nutrition can range from undernutrition, malnutrition, to overnutrition. Here are several types of poor nutrition including Undernutrition Undernutrition occurs when the body does not get enough calories, leading to weight loss, fatigue, and weakened immune function. Malnutrition Malnutrition is a serious condition that occurs when the body does not get enough essential nutrients, such as proteins, vitamins, and minerals to support the proper functioning of your body. Imbalanced Nutrition Imbalanced nutrition occurs when the body does not get the right balance of nutrients, leading to deficiencies or excesses of certain nutrients. Hidden hunger Hidden hunger occurs when the body does not get enough essential micronutrients, such as vitamins and minerals, even if the person is consuming enough calories. Unhealthy diet An unhealthy diet is a diet that is high in saturated fats, sugars, and salt, and low in essential nutrients. Overnutrition Overnutrition occurs when the body gets too many calories or nutrients, leading to weight gain and an increased risk of chronic diseases. Factors leading to poor nutrition Poor nutrition is a common problem in modern life, especially in developed countries. This can be caused by a lack of access to healthy foods, an unbalanced diet, or an inability to absorb nutrients from food. There are several factors that can contribute to poor nutrition, including Limited access to healthy food. Some people may live in areas with limited access to fresh fruits and vegetables, making it difficult to maintain a healthy diet. Busy lifestyles. An urban living style where most people are either working in offices or factories have a straight requirement of timekeeping. People usually have a short time for meals often around an hour or so. People also may not have the time to prepare healthy meals at home, leading them to rely on convenience foods or fast food. To maintain proper nutrition in a quick meal may be a difficult task. Lack of nutrition education. Some people may not have the knowledge or skills to make healthy food choices, leading them to make poor dietary choices. Modern farming practices. Industrial farming practices, such as the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides, genetically modified organisms, GMOs, and monoculture farming, have a negative impact on soil quality and the nutritional content of crops. The use of antibiotics and hormones in intensive livestock production impacts the quality and safety of meat and dairy products. On top of that, long distances of transportation also reduce the nutrition in the foods. These modern farming practices reduce nutrient content. For example, some studies have shown that modern wheat varieties have lower levels of essential minerals such as zinc, iron, and copper. Food Market and Marketing Advertising of unhealthy foods and beverages can influence people's food choices and contribute to poor nutrition. The market is packed with convenience foods, and the abundance of highly processed foods has led to an increase in the consumption of unhealthy foods that are high in calories, sugar, and saturated fats, but low in essential nutrients. Cultural and Social Factors Cultural and social factors can influence food choices, such as family traditions, religious beliefs, and social norms. For example, traditional Asian diets are often characterized by high consumption of plant-based foods and low consumption of processed foods and animal products. Western diets, on the other hand, tend to be higher in processed foods and animal products. The fast food culture, sometimes named junk food, happens globally. Economic factors, the cost of healthy food options, can be prohibitive for some individuals and families, leading them to choose cheaper, less nutritious options. Psychological factors. Emotional eating or using food as a coping mechanism can also contribute to poor nutrition. Health situations due to poor nutrition. A diet lacking in essential nutrients can have a negative impact on overall health and well-being, 
leading to a range of health problems, chronic health problems, and even mental health. Weakened immune system. Deficiencies in essential vitamins and minerals can impair the production and activity of immune cells and antibodies. This can lead to a weakened immune system and an increased risk of infection. Malnutrition. Malnutrition is one of the serious conditions of poor nutrition if the body is not provided with essential and adequate energy and nutrition to function properly. This can cause a range of health problems such as fatigue, weakened immune systems, and poor growth and development in children. Digestive issues. Faber, vitamin C, various vitamins and minerals in our diet help our digestive process. Poor nutrition can lead to digestive issues such as constipation, diarrhea, and irritable bowel syndrome. Weight gain and obesity. A diet high in calories and low in essential nutrients can lead to weight gain and obesity, which can increase the risk of heart disease, diabetes, chronic diseases, and negatively impact overall health. Fatigue. Poor nutrition can cause low energy levels, leading to fatigue and a reduced ability to perform daily activities. Bone and joint problems. A lack of certain nutrition, such as calcium, vitamin D, magnesium, iron, etc. can negatively impact bone and joint health, leading to conditions such as osteoporosis and arthritis. Chronic diseases. Poor and imbalanced nutrition is a major risk factor for chronic diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, and certain cancers. Mental health issues. People who have poor nutrition tend to be negatively impacted by mental issues such as depression, anxiety, and poor cognitive function. Remedy for poor nutrition. To remedy the problems of poor nutrients, be sure to eat a balanced diet essential for maintaining good health. It includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins, and avoids processed and sugary foods and certain unhealthy food intake. While this may be a channeling task, here are some tips for achieving those goals in such a busy urban lifestyle. Bring your own lunch. Some offices have cafeteria areas and microwaves or other cooking equipment. Make good use of them and prepare your nutritious lunch the day before or in the morning. Include a balance of vegetables, proteins, and carbohydrates, roughly a portion each. Having your prepared meal can also ensure you can eat a variety of foods as well as avoid skipping meals due to a heavy workload. Substitute processed and sugary foods. On-shelf snacks are attractive because they have a lot of artificial flavor, sweetening, high sodium, and chemical ingredients and undergo unhealthy processing such as deep fried. Instead of having a soft drink, water is the best for your body. However, in case you really crave something sweet, natural made juice is more delicious and yet healthier as long as not overtake you. Roasted nuts are more nutritious than a bag of potato chips. Make careful choices in your purchase. You can address the issue of poor nutrition caused by modern farming practices by using your power of choice as a consumer. There has been a growing movement toward organic farming and sustainable agriculture practices. These practices prioritize soil health and biodiversity, which can lead to higher nutrient content in crops. Look for organic food labels and regenerative farming, or buy locally if you know their farming method. Limit alcohol and caffeine intake. Alcohol has a high calorie but very few nutrients, if any. Caffeine brings anxiety and takes away calcium from our bodies. There are choices of wine without alcohol, but beware of excessive sugar, read the ingredient label, and decaf coffee. You may also set a quota for yourself and limit your daily intake. It is just a habit and can be established within a month. Drink adequate water. Every cell, tissue, and organ in your body needs water to work properly. Water helps us to get rid of wastes, regular body temperature, lubricate joints, and protect sensitive tissues. We also need water to help all nutrition to function in our body. As a rule of thumb, an adequate daily fluid intake is about 15 cups, 3.7 liters, for men and 11 cups, 2.7 liters, for women. An easy way to achieve that is to bring a plastic bottle for 2 liters to your office and place it in an obvious and handy location. It will then keep remaining you and also save you time to get water refill especially when you are busy. Take a health supplement. You can supplement your nutrient intake by regularly taking high-quality multivitamins. Choose those of food-grade and not synthetic, comprehensive vitamins together with plant compounds, minerals, and trace elements instead of single vitamins, because nutrients work as a network and you will need a balanced mix to bring out the best effectiveness.